In this video, we are covering the top five reasons as to why your Amazon business just cannot grow. Let's jump right into it. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Brad Sherman, seven figure seller. And on this channel, we explore tips, strategies, and experiences that I have had that will help you start and build up your Amazon FBA wholesale business. In this video, we are covering the top five reasons as to why your Amazon business just cannot grow. These, in my opinion, are the main reasons that are keeping you broke in your business. And I say this because I have experience with all of them. Before we jump into it, if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps out the videos in the algorithm. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell as well if you do want to stay up to date on all future content that I will be putting out. If you guys are new and haven't seen the other videos on my channel, make sure to check out my channel. I go in depth about all of the different steps of the wholesale process and how you can start from scratch and scale to seven figures your Amazon FBA wholesale business. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Reason number one as to why your Amazon business will not grow is because you simply cannot handle rejection. So for this video, we're focusing on wholesale. And as you guys know, in order to grow your wholesale business, you have to be contacting brands and distributors in order to add wholesale accounts through which you are going to purchase profitable products from them and sell them on Amazon. And if you haven't started yet, you'll quickly realize once you do start that most of the brands that you reach out to will not be interested in selling to you because you sell products online and specifically on Amazon. So the number one reason that I see as to why sellers just cannot succeed or grow their Amazon business is because they can't handle that rejection rate. This is a numbers game. It comes down to how many suppliers you are contacting. If your account closure rate is 3% and you're contacting 100 companies per week, that means you're closing three accounts per week, so you're getting three price lists. Let's go on the whim and say that you, maybe one of those price lists is profitable, so in that case, you would be closing one profitable account per week and adding four per month. That is if you contact 100 brands. So when most of you guys reach out to these companies, you're either sending a generic email or maybe you're getting on the phone and calling them, which is rare in and of itself. So that's another reason right there as to why you can't grow your business, which is you won't get on the phone and call these suppliers. Why? because it's harder. It's harder to hear the rejection on the phone and it's easier to face it by email. So when you do get on the phone, you call the supplier and you say, hello, my name is so-and-so, I'm calling from my company and I'm interested in opening a wholesale account and then they ask you more about your business, you tell them who you are, what you do, and then they say, we're not interested in selling to Amazon sellers. You say, okay, thanks, bye. That is the reason why most of you can't grow. And instead of saying, okay, thanks, bye, you have to structure the conversation, articulate yourself in such a way where you are not just an Amazon seller, but you are an e-commerce business owner and you are a legitimate company that can help the brand grow. Reason number two as to why your Amazon business cannot grow is because you are not sourcing the right kinds of companies. Oftentimes when I'm contacting brands and I'm seeing that my rejection rate is higher than normal, I will go back to the drawing board and look at the subtypes of companies that are in my spreadsheet. And I will then go back and look at what were the categories, what were the subcategories, what were the storefronts that we have been sourcing from in order to compile this list of products. And if I'm seeing they are comprised mostly of large brands, your big conglomerate companies like Procter & Gamble, or maybe just big brands that you know distributors are selling or Amazon is all over the listings. I'll go back and look at it and say, this is the reason why my rejection rate was higher this week than last week, because last week we contacted mostly smaller to mid-sized companies, niche related brands and sourced from niche storefronts. So always go back to the sourcing process and 
That is key because each step in the wholesale process builds on each other. So if you don't get it right in the sourcing process, you're not going to be closing accounts with companies, you're not going to be getting priceless, and you won't be buying profitable inventory for your Amazon business. So be mindful that oftentimes success is not pinpointed at one issue, but rather you have to go back to the origin of that issue and walk through each of the steps of the process and see as to where the issues lie because usually it takes place at multiple levels. Reason number three as to why your Amazon business will not grow is because you simply are not contacting enough companies. We just talked about that example of if you contact 100 companies per week at a 3% closure rate, hypothetically, you would be closing maybe one profitable account per week. So many times I get sellers reaching out to me or asking questions about why can't I close accounts? I'm not closing any accounts. All of these brands that I'm reaching out to are saying no, and I have no counter argument to them. Well, my first question for them is how many suppliers are you contacting per week? 20, 50. And that's usually the answer that I get. So right there, all I say to that is, you need to be contacting more suppliers. You guys have to be contacting at bare bones minimum 50 accounts per week. 50 suppliers you need to be reaching out to per week at minimum. And if you wanna really grow, I would say contact 100 plus per week. Because like we said, your account closure rate is just a certain percentage of the top line that you reach out to. And the more suppliers you contact, the better you're going to get at it, the better you're going to articulate yourself and be able to explain more about your company and how you can provide value to their brand. So focus on contacting more companies and also focus on sourcing the right kinds of companies because usually those two reasons are the reason why most sellers cannot grow their Amazon wholesale business. Let's get into reason number four that is keeping you broke in your Amazon business, which is the fact that you have not built systems in your company. So systems, software, and processes are key for growing a business. I don't care if you're a small company or a hundred million dollar company. Systems start at the ground level. So you need to have an SOP for each step of the wholesale process. And this was a mistake I made early on where everything was kind of disorganized. And it wasn't until we got everything organized and made sure each step of the wholesale process was intact that we started to see growth. And point number four goes hand in hand with point number five as to why you can't grow your Amazon business which is you're afraid to outsource more. In the beginning, I was worried about outsourcing more, but I'll tell you one thing. As soon as I started to outsource more tasks, that is when my business grew because I started outsourcing sourcing suppliers, storefront stocking, and compiling a list of suppliers into a spreadsheet for me to then contact. The entire sourcing process has thus been outsourced for me. And then I started outsourcing App, account applications, credit apps, um, administrative work, um, and then going through price lists as well. Outsourcing those two components of the wholesale process was key for me because I was then able to contact brands and distributors at double the rate I was contacting. So I could focus on the meat and potatoes of the business while outsourcing the remainder of those tasks that could be handled by other people. The key to outsourcing and how to know what to outsource is to take every task in your wholesale business and determine what is sucking up the most amount of time. For me, it was sourcing, filling out applications, and going through price lists. And I knew each of those things could be done by somebody else. Now, can you outsource the contacting process to brands? You can essentially hire another salesperson to duplicate what you do, but you have to have that process down pat. That is the one task in my business that I 100% focus on and really have not outsourced much at all. And that is calling brands direct, contacting and building those relationships. Because if you're not doing that in your business, then I'm not really sure what you're doing. Because you have to be the main person 
for these companies and you have to be able to provide that value to them and build the relationships. This is how the business is built, it's through relationships. With that being said, you can definitely outsource the contacting process to distributors because generally distributors are easier to get accounts with, but with Brands Direct, there's a lot of sales and um, value props that you, that you have to provide to them. So you're going to want to contact them directly yourself. That's it for this video, guys. I hope that helped you understand the top five reasons as to why you are having trouble growing your Amazon business. These are all based on my experience on the wholesale journey over the past three years or so. And I found that if you follow these five components, you will have breakthroughs in growing your Amazon business. Guys, this is not rocket science. It's simply follow the steps to a T and make sure you are completing your SOPs, sourcing the right kinds of companies, contacting the right brands, reaching out to them and building relationships, following up with them and outsourcing and building systems in your business so that you can stay organized as you grow. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all future videos that I put out. Thanks again, stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you next time.